I've had the f-stop Ajna for a year, and I've added new accessories since last time. We are all about reviewing gear in a long-term context on this channel, so let's jump right into the things that have changed, and you can check out my first vid after this one for more of a feature overview if you would like. From a durability standpoint, the Dura Diamond is living up to its name. I've done a close inspection, and I've just got back from another Colorado road trip. Beyond a little dirt, good as new. More on the Talopa Ajna choice at the end, but my non Dura Diamond Talopa is also still in excellent shape. And I use these, regularly tossing them onto the ground, but I'm really happy with how the surfaces and the zippers are holding up so far. Last time, I was particularly worried about the water bottle pocket durability, afraid they might rip. Over time, I've used these increasingly less often for bottles and more for tripod feet, but so far, they're holding up well. Still likely the weakest point on the bag overall, but nothing sour to report just yet. I still haven't tested a water bladder with this bag, but it's on the list for Santa Claus, if I haven't been naughty. So maybe a YouTube short on that in the future, or maybe in a blog post. And I also still really like the aluminum belt closure over the plastic clips of the Talopa. However, F-Stop just released the Lotus 28 liter, and the hip belt there is interesting. Back to plastic clips again, but a bigger mesh stash pouch on the left side. And they swapped the Molly on the right for a zip pouch. I'm not exactly sure what to expect on the next iterations of the Ajna and Talopa and their hip belts, but I like to see the iteration here. On the accessory side, my water bottle mostly lives in the Molly accessories. Sometimes I'll use this for my phone, for bug spray or sunscreen, or some bear be gone. And I like using these little Molly tech pouches as well. In one, all of my charging cables, mag go, Lightning, USB-C, Brick, and MagSafe. I also like to use one for my GoPro kit to keep that nice and separated from my ICU gear. These aren't new since last time, but I'm still using them very heavily. My new accessory since last time is that Dioda, Dioda, Dioda laptop sleeve. And look, I've got some gripes here. These materials feel premium. It has a side handle, top handle, and a tiny bit of room in the exterior pocket for cables, drives, and Sometimes I sneak in my Kindle when I want to pretend that I'll read on a trip, but it's $70 and that's too much. The thing is though, I've changed from a MacBook Air to a 16 inch MacBook Pro since last time. The biggest jump in size I could have made with machines. And I'm not gonna toss this in loose amongst all the other stuff without a little bit more protection. I rarely hike with this laptop and I personally like leaving the top zip open for easy access, but this should be $49 if purchased at the time of a bag. I also picked up the Pro Small ICU at $79, you know, also a little bit too much, but I am pleasantly surprised here. If you shoot mirrorless and have two or three core lenses, then the Pro Small works really well and I'm pretty surprised at how often I will load this into the bag. For any big distance or higher altitude, I do try to get away with that ICU when I can, and so far it's been working well. And especially if I need to carry the MacBook, and I want room for other non-camera travel stuff like headphones, food, and clothing, which is kind of my use case when working remotely on a trip. The Talopa mostly stores all of my camera stuff and plays gear closet, and the Ajna plays work or hiking bag, and I swap when needed. But like last time, if you can only do one ICU, Slope Medium works best as the all-rounder and comes with the Essentials Bundle. I've been sticking to the Pro Large my Talopa and then keeping the Slope Medium or Pro Small in the Ajna. I'm still liking the reinforced top handle, though if you plan to hang this from a tripod center column, you want a spare hook for easier hanging. I'll often store one of these bags hanging from a tripod in the corner of a room, and so I like that hook on the top handle to more easily place on the tripod center column. On the Ajna, I'm finding that the shoulder straps do start to get uncomfortable on longer hikes when you pack heavy. So for me, I'd say that sometimes I'm hiking and I bring my camera and sometimes I'm shooting and I happen to be on a hike, if that makes sense. Those are my two biggest use cases. When I'm shooting primarily, I like to bring a lot more of my kit and obviously it's heavier. I haven't had any issues with the hiking hikes with the Ajna. But I had a day recently, about seven miles of range, thousand feet of gain, starting around maybe 6,000. So nothing super crazy there, but I did bring a lot. It was hot and unshaded, and I was ready to take the bag off at the end of the hike. Longer hikes with more gain, more mileage, or at higher altitude have been fine, so long as I intentionally pack lighter. And there are pros to the thin straps. They're great for travel and maneuverability, but something in the middle of the Ajna ones and the Talopa ones probably would be ideal. I find the dense back pad comfortable, but there is a limit to how much airflow you're gonna get 
if you pack it heavy and it's hot and sunny, it's gonna get sweaty. Inside the back flap, I'm still loving this organization. Again, if you prefer your laptop here, you'll need to bump up to the Tilopa. I'm also still loving the long front pocket and the level of access through the top and back. I almost always use the front for a shell or layers and the top fits my filter case nicely laid down with plenty of room for snacks and clothes. Over time, I've been finding that I do like the 37 liter size better than the 50 liter size. However, in saying that, it's important to note that on most trips where I'm not flying, I still bring both bags. It's nice to bring the 50 liter as a backpack duffel, and obviously it has the option to fit an ICU in it. The 37 liter, while great for most of my use cases, is too small for some of the freelance shoots when I like to bring more. With the Talopa, I start tossing in things like tape, extension cords, can even carry a sandbag or two. So Talopa for those. Pro tip, fill these with aquarium rocks, not sand. These will inevitably spring a leak and aquarium rocks are easy to pick up. I called this the tippy top pocket last time and I use it thoroughly but still do miss the visibility of open mesh pockets here. I'm rarely putting items in the top fleece line pockets that make me say, wow, I'm so happy these pockets are aligned with fleece. I just want the visibility and two separate zippers would be nice. And the hip belt mesh is still annoying on the Ajna as well. You just really can't use these for much else than chapstick or a piece or two of gum. And that's sort of fine. I'm always going to pack these things, but if they were big enough to fit a GoPro battery, or an AirPods case, or I could just more easily shove in wrappers and microfibers, they'd be a lot more usable. And they are on the Talopa. I'm in and out of these bags almost daily, definitely weekly. They serve as much as gear storage as they do for travel for me. And I often pack both, like I said, one with an ICU, one without. I can swap interchangeably on the trip depending on what I want to do. Storage, hiking, road tripping, that type of thing. Based on what I see, F-Stop has some of the best ICUs, configurability, and durability and weather resistance right out of the box without a rainfly. There is no perfect bag, but if these types of things start to rank high on your list, then I think F-Stop is worth a look, despite kind of the higher price range. For Colorado, or specifically road tripping, the Talopa with the large ICU is still the configuration I rock, and it's the bag that I just don't leave out of my sight. It has my computer, my hard drives and cards, and the most important gear. So it comes out of the car with me on even the smallest little stops just in case. But the Ajna is where most of the hiking happens. The price is the downside with F-Stop, but they run pack week yearly with 20% discounts. In 2023, that runs through December 8th. I'm an affiliate, so calling out pack week helps me. It helps you. But like I said in my initial review, if you know for sure that this bag is for you, now is the time. Otherwise, do not rush a bag for a sale. Make sure you really do the research, <clears throat> you know, watching this video to the very end at least.